Oh, good morning. What is going on, people? We are still waiting for the stream to start. Uh, for the game to get started. Uh, I'm not sure what the holdup is, but... We'll get it on and popping. Well, we can get it on and popping. The game's already started. Here we go. Okay, okay. Now we got some action going on. Now we got some action going on. So let's see if we can get a little sound. What is with this lighting? All right, we in business. I'm going to keep it low until uh, my coffee is ready. That's my nephew right there on the bottom of the screen. I wish I had a pointer or something. Number 24, Randy Bell. That's my nephew. And he's the reason I'm doing this. Let's get some more light on my situation here. There we go. It's a little bit better. Hmm. Is that a good pass? I'm not sure. Uh, Juno Loop's coming back down. Looks like they're looking for another three. Wow, good pass on the knee. Hmm, good move. Good move, one three. Ooh, good. Couldn't finish. Giants try to take them. <laughs> Got to finish that Euro step, bro. Little tea drop.
Mm, bad pass. He's ready. Be right back. What did I miss? One at one on one, Facebook and uh, Facebook and YouTube. If you're in the chat, put a quick thumbs up in the chat. Takes me to YouTube. Okay.
Coffee's in the building. Uh, a little tight game. Where are you at, nephew? Is he still in the game? I don't see him. Maybe he's in that bottom corner. Nope. He is out of the game right now. <laughs> Most people still trying to wake up this early in the morning. Nice. I see Thailand in the building. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Thailand. Both team totals. You think uh, <clears throat> copies, you think they're going to get the 180? It's possible. Are you betting on that? Uh, Alan, yes, this is a real game. This is, it is currently uh, 8.20 in the morning in Australia. My nephew plays for the Goldfields Giants. So, yes, this is a live stream. Appreciate you checking in, bro. Make sure you subscribe, too. If you're in Thailand, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate you. I like the international flavor I'm getting right now. Did he, was that a travel he called? Ooh, back them down. Nice. Nicely done. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate you. Alan, where you from, dude? Oh, you, you just said it. DMV. Duh. Appreciate you. Popping them threes, man.
Ooh, he shot an air ball. Good Lord. He traveled. Uh, my nephew played at, um, he went to a small, uh, a small college in Georgia. Oh, Alan, you from Brooklyn? Okay. You from Brooklyn originally? Where you from? Where you at now? Right now, I'm in I'm in the South Jersey area, South New Jer South New Jersey, Philadelphia. There he is. That's my nephew. I was wondering where he was. Good pass, dude. Randy is coming off of. Uh, he had just finished two years, his two year contract in Indonesia playing for Bumi Borneo. He did pretty good out there, too. Good rebound, nephew. Ooh, with the your come on, you got to finish that, man. Damn. Got to be a travel, right? Was that a Euro step? I don't know. One, two. I guess it was. Telecom consultant. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I spent a little time overseas back in the 90s when I was with NFL Europe. So we got a chance to travel. Scotland, London, Frankfurt, Dusseldorf, not Dusseldorf, but uh, Frankfurt and Rhine, Amsterdam, Barcelona. Ugh. Come on. Ain't got enough height for that move, bro. Another three. Well, they don't like taking too many mid mid range shots, boy. They they launch it up from behind the arc. Oh, come on, Randy. Hmm. Good D. Oh, that's a bad call. Get your hands in the air. Bad call on that one, nephew. They got you. That's the way it go. Try looking for a shot. Mm. 
Mm. Deep one. Good shot. <laughs> uh, Alan, you are probably not wrong, my friend. Because uh, they are launching from outside. The Steph Curry syndrome. Steph Curry just perfected it, but go back a ways ever since damn um, Dirk Nowitzki, big seven foot dude shooting from behind the arc. Mm. All right, you got a little time, 10 point lead. Y'all behind 10 points. Got a little time to do something. Alan, are you, uh, yeah, they are raining threes. Alan, are you following the NFL at all? Oh, get up. Ugh. And then falling, man. Alan, you gotta check out some of my uh NFL content. I'm a former I'm a former Eagles running back. So yeah. Yeah. Eagles fans, so a lot of news going on with Saquon coming down here. But, uh, yeah, man. I got some friends that used to play for the Giants. I'll go way back on you. Uh, let me see. Uh, when I was with the Eagles, we had just signed Mark Bavaro. He played with the Eagles for, I think, just a season. But I was down there with him in 93. Um, one of my good friends I played with in college, Myron Guyton. He was one of the first rookies to ever start for Parcells and win a Super Bowl with him, with the Giants. Chad Brasky, another guy from Eastern Kentucky, played with the Giants. Um, and I'm sure I got some other friends that I'm forgetting about. So, yeah, man. Please come back for the NFL content. Definitely for the draft. Uh, check out my video last night. I had a guy named Ian Cummings on last night. He's a um, he's an NFL analyst for Pro Football Network. It was fun talking to him last night. There you go, Randy. Yeah, I wasn't happy with that either. But, uh, and and they, and they left y'all stuck with Daniel Jones. <laughs> they had their opportunities though, so I'm assuming that y'all gonna draft a quarterback this year. Oh, take that shot, Randy. You had it. it wasn't that deep. Another three. There you go. Nice step back, bro. Bring this game close. But they are just firing up these threes like they're going out of style. Good move. Nice move, Randy. Good move, nephew.
my man from uh my man from thailand that just made that comment type in your uh type in an american nickname so i can talk to you because i can't i can't read your kanji i can't read that text type in your what your american name would be if if, if that applies hope that's not disrespectful Toddy. All right, Toddy. I appreciate you, bro. I'm going to have to see if there's some type of... Uh, I don't know if there's something that I could turn on that'll decipher your text, but or if that's just, that's just the way that it rolls from where you're from, but a name is good enough, my friend. Toddy, I appreciate you, man. Make sure you subscribe. Another three. You had a good look, Brick. They cannot make. Oh, come on, man! Why you? Why you bounce past that? My name is Marcus. Can you see that? <laughs> I appreciate you, Toddy. Toddy, what what's it like over in Thailand? Is it more um obviously this is from Australia, so it's more in your time zone, but is there a lot of uh NFL interest in NFL fans, American football over in Thailand? Nice. There you go. Right, let's bring this back. Uh, mm. got a floater over there actually a nice shot good spin Well, make these free ones. Close this up a little bit. At least try to make it a five-point game. Make the free ones, bro.
All right. Let's make this a one possession game. Well, don't shoot it from back there, nephew. Don't not not that deep. Oh, off the straight. Uh, oh, good pass. Good pass. That's a weak call. Oh, was that a charge? Okay. Oh, my name is Marcus Allen. Marcus Thomas. Yeah, man. Get up. Finish that. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, okay. One possession game. There you go. That's how you battle back. Play a little defense. Get the ball back. Come on, nephew. Oh, good Euro step, man. You just didn't move fast enough. You got to slide a little bit better. Come on, man. Likewise, Alan. That's all right. Brought this back. Supposed to dunk that. <laughs> He's supposed to dunk that one. Another three? No, no. Oh, good wall. Good job, Randy. Stop the clock. Should be about three more seconds back back on that clock. Yeah, 24. Randy Bell is my nephew. I used to coach that little joker in football. He was my little fullback. He was always a good athlete. And then um he got to about the, I guess, seventh, eighth grade, and he started going shooting up. And he used to be like a fat little squat fullback. And the next thing you know, he got to high school. He was six foot, then he was six one, then he jumped up to six four. His dad is, I think, six two, so it makes sense. And his uh his uh great grandfather was was tall too. Yeah, that's my dude right there, man. Love that kid. Steam him up. Don't let him. Don't let him get a good last shot. Don't let him get a good last shot. Y'all battle back. Ooh, that's a good move. Got a little time. Oh, damn! That four seconds went fast, didn't it? All right, we got people jumping in and out. Toddy was Toddy was here. Copy was here. Alan is here. I said we had like say we got seven people on YouTube's. Hopefully, I can I can get more, man. Yeah, man. Um, 
Yeah, we were supporting him when when he was um he played in um where did he play? It wasn't Brazil. It was somewhere else, like in South America. And uh what it what is, what is this halftime show? What is what is going on right now? <laughs> what is going on right now? Or if they start if they start dancing like an HBC, you I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> ah, that's funny. With the little girl in the middle. Oh my god, <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I think I'm about to screen capture that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but oh, but yeah, he played. Um, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and lead this on, man. I want to see the cheerleaders some more. <laughs> River dance. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, they brought it back. They was down by 10. Uh, Randy got 10 points. Um, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. Let me see. Let me get out of this. Let's see if we can bring up box scores or anything like that. Play by play, shot chart. Now, there we go. There we go. Let's see. Randy, he got 10.3 boards, three assists, no blocks. Um, shooting 44%, not bad. Uh, 33% from three. He's one for three from deep. Uh, so that's not bad. It's not bad. Deshaun Parsons, 14-3-2. Uh, not bad. Shooting 71% from the floor. Okay. I ain't mad at that. I'm mad at that. Shot chart. Oh, there we go. So I'm looking for. Um, will they show you the whole I'll show you all these ads, but will they show you the whole let me see. Turn that off a little bit. Let's kill that background noise. Uh, what's up, Cody K? Uh, Allen, you know what? I am not sure what he's averaging. This is only the second. I know they, I think they've had like three games, but this is only the third game that I've watched, only the second game that I've streamed. So I'm not sure how many games they've actually played but i think they've only played like two or three so um i'm on i'm on you know wait until we get some more stats on that but i think if i the last game he scored 29 so uh he had a good game last time um Let me see. Is there anywhere leaders? Let me see. Assists. Elliot Parsons. Yeah, this is for this game, not for the season. I'm sure I could go out. I don't want to get out of this page because it might take too long to load. So I'll just leave it. I will check it. Um, see if I can check it on my iPad or something. But yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Cody K, what's good, man? Uh, sorry I missed your live last night. I'm going to go back and... Re- Yo, Cody, we had fun last night, man. Um, Ian Cummings, my boy Ian Cummings, man. He was the truth. I'm telling you, dude. He was he was going... Uh, it was people in the chats that was just dropping questions. So we, I think we went and had like maybe eight questions that I just randomly picked from the chat. And he was getting so deep with them questions, man. Like I told you, he does his homework. He does his homework, man. Definitely does his homework. So 
Um, we had a we had a really good chat last night. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to do it do do that again. I've been doing the mock drafts. I'm gonna keep doing mock drafts like daily until the NFL draft happens. So we only two weeks away. So it's gonna start getting hot and heavy. You know, we still got the Devonte Smith information and, and the he still got to get his deal done and i'm hoping that they'll get that done before the draft so we know what we're working with but this is one of them situations man that that uh you got to leave it in the hands of howie roseman and just keep it moving just keep it moving yo alan 100 percent, man 100 percent. um I, I i always say i was a little sad when he stopped playing football but he he's a basketball kid, man. He was always a basketball kid. And then when he shot up to 6'4, it was like, there you go. There you go. So Danny Pennies. <laughs> so yeah, Cody, we took we took questions, man. We took questions. Um, and he he knocked them down, man. He was on for about almost an hour. We went for almost an hour, and then after he got off. I did like three mock drafts live. So um, it was pretty good, man. We had a lot of fun, man. We had a lot of fun. Had a couple new guys in the group. So got a couple subs out of it, man. So you know me, dude, grinding and growing, bro. Constant growth, man. So I appreciate it. We had fun, though. We definitely go. I'm definitely going to try to get him again. I'm trying to get, um, I don't know. You were on when I got Barrett Brooks. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to, Allen, since you were a New York Giants guy, I'm definitely going to try to get my guy, Myron Guyton back on uh, so we can talk about draft and stuff like that. And we just go back and forth. I don't really, you know, yes, I'm an Eagles fan and I bleed green, but shoot, I'm from Cincinnati, so I still support my Bengals. Um, and I got friends that played on a lot of teams. So one of my best friends from home, uh, he played with the with the Rams when they won the Super Bowl with Dick Vermeil, greatest show on turf that year. Um so yeah, I got friends that played everywhere. My one of the guys I played with with the Eagles ended up playing with Kansas City. Another guy I played college with is a Chiefs fan. Um, so yeah, man, yeah, it was it was crazy, man. That year, two years ago, when we went to the Super Bowl and we we played the Chiefs, I don't know what I was gonna do if the Eagles would have played the Bengals in the Super Bowl because the it looked like Joey Burrow was about to make it happen. So I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do if if it's the Eagles and the Bengals in the Super Bowl, man, but it worked out the way that it worked out. So, um, but yeah, I like talking about the NFL, man. So, um, I'm all over the place, bro. I know I, 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 I wish I would have branded myself a little bit differently from the beginning, but that's just the growth of my channel. Cause I know I started off doing pro fan talk is just a play off of, um, I used to be a pro now I'm a fan and we talk a lot about sports. So, I do NFL, I do NBA, I do NBL, uh, F1. I'm a NASCAR fan. Um, watching the Sixers, even though like I watch basketball, but I don't follow basketball. This year, I was really invested in women's basketball with the whole Caitlin Clark story. So I've been following that since the end of last year. Um, looking forward to the WNBA draft on Monday. So, yeah, man. So I'm all over the place, man. If I'm interested in it, I will follow it, bro. Uh, neighbors. Uh, she's a Cincinnati fan. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I was born and raised in Cincinnati, man. So I will who day with you all day, bro. Um, I tell anybody I, I bleed green. Don't get it twisted. I bleed green for my Eagles, but I was born in the jungle, so I will rep Cincinnati all day, man. So love the hometown, man. So um, I I have. Let me see. Hold on for a second, because I, I, I looked at, if you go on my Twitter, um, coach underscore Marcus 06. And the 06 is because I am an alpha. I pledged in college. Um, let me see if I can see that. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, you know what? Let me go. You know what? Let's do one right now. I'll let the computer do it and see. Um, See what we end up with. Hold on, let me turn my sound back on.
All right, I'm doing a I'm doing a draft right now, Alan. Um, tell my wife I can't have two teams, but she's from Baltimore. I'm a Baltimore fan, so I call them. Ah, it's all good, man. That's all good. All right, we tied it up. That was quick. You know what? This is the same thing that was going on last game, man. Um, from deep, they were struggling. Woof. From the logo. Like right now, as we speak, I'm running a uh, mock draft on my phone. <laughs> Let me see what we got to your question. Um, now, see. Um, Alan, I just did I just did this mock draft on PFN, profootballnetwork.com. And New York takes Jaden Daniels from LSU, the quarterback from LSU. Ooh, banked it. Okay. I ain't mad at that. Good grief. Good pass. Good play. Uh, how many picks you guys got? You guys only had one pick in the first. Uh, the Giants took Jaden Daniels. I'm trying to see the rest of the draft. Let's see round two. Uh, oh, y'all got Jaden Daniels and y'all managed to get Lad McConkey. I think he's going to end up being pretty good. You don't think the LSU kid going to be any good? Uh, come on, Randy. Yeah, I was kind of salty for what they did to Saquon. Because Saquon wanted to stay in New York. He did not want to leave. And then they, they basically dissed him. And left, hung him out to dry. And then, of course, you got all of that stuff with Tiki Barber and all of that stuff was going on. And I understand what Tiki was doing. And I heard the clips. And I, I watched them like two, three times. And I agree it was tongue-in-cheek, but I was like, yeah, that's just your timing was horrible, bro. Like, I try to tell people, man, when you when that happens to you as a player, man, it's like somebody pulling a rug out from under your feet, man. That is not a fun situation. When when you don't give given everything to a team and they don't even offer you a contract, and then you got people on the radio talking smack on you, talking shit on you, that is not a good feeling, man. So, uh, Tiki... Tiki just his his time it was like too soon, bro. It was too soon. I'm trying to see who else this this mock draft I just did. You got Lab McConkey in the uh in the second. And who do y'all have in the third? Chris Abrams Drain, cornerback from Missouri. So I got some good stuff. Yeah, they did, man. They should on Saquon bad. He was, man, he, he held out because he wanted to stay in New York. He wanted to stay in New York. And it's a shame because he still got to go back. Like, I always look at it like this. All of the, look at all of the, the football camps and all of the stuff that he does in the community. All of that stuff just don't stop because he traded away. They still got to do it. He might have to go back to New York and still deal with the fans and all of that kind of stuff happens all the time because all of the stuff just don't just because you got traded away. You done organized and paid for and you've done You got a lot of stuff going on that's already on the books and paid for. So you got to go through with it. So now, of course, you know, you go into these events and you're trying to sign autographs. and You probably got some asshole that want to talk to you and and talking crazy to you because you know what fans do sometimes so so yeah man it's a it's a um it's a touchy subject man and people think like oh you getting paid that money 
and you need to act like a professional. And I'm like, it don't work that way, bro. You still human underneath it all. It, you just don't, you just don't push it all to the side. Some people can, most people can't. And it's easy for somebody that's not in that situation to say, just ignore it. Um, that is very hard to ignore. Especially in New York. Good move. Good move, dude. That wasn't Randy. That wasn't Randy that just scored that. That was 14, not 24. Travel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You ain't told no lies there. You haven't told any lies there to rich get richer. I know what that is. I was out on the Mars when they uh when they tried to cover for that. Remember that kicker that got that that got in trouble for domestic violence? And it wasn't uh, and they knew about it, and it wasn't until that his ex wife uh released her diaries or whatever and they made it public that they finally cut him they had just signed this kicker to like a three million dollar deal so it's crazy man who is this on facebook's who we got and what's up to you appreciate you mara epis just tuned in what what did I surprise you with, Mara? There you go. Take this lead. All right. All right. Mara, what 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 question did you have? Why do you say what? <laughs> what did I what's confusing? <laughs> All right, they bricking. Jundal Loop is bricking. Let's go, Goldfields. Let's extend this lead, man. Good shot, nephew. Get there. Uh, Got to make that shot. Thought I would get some commentary. Uh, we going back and forth, man. We going back and forth. Get. Good shot. We've been we've been doing some commentary, Marl. But that dead spots in the game, we 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 go everywhere. And let me be honest with you, I'm just watching to see what my nephew does. <laughs> it's all good. I appreciate you, appreciate you jumping on. Uh, my nephew is number 24, Randy Bell for Goldsmith. I mean Goldfields. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm streaming all his games just to show support. So sometimes my commentary might get lax and we might get into other conversations based on what the chat is giving me. But you are in the chat and you would like some commentary. So I will provide a little bit more commentary. So that is Randy Bell bringing the ball down the court. Um, and they pretty much kept it tight. Can't seem to. Uh, oh, that was a lazy pass, man. Lazy. Can they finish, though? Because Jundaloop has, has been, uh, they've been bricking the last couple possessions. Ooh, he didn't break that one. He did not break that one. Mara, do me a favor. Uh, while you're watching, do me a favor, jump on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Please and thank you. That's a good finish right there. That's a good finish right there. Keep it tight. Deshaun Parsons has been balling this game. He, I believe he's lead. Good steal. Cross him. Finish. There you go. There you go. Let's go on a little run here. Another steal. This is what, an 8-0 run right now? And one. Good run. I think we on an 8-0 run right now. About to be nine. Yeah, Deshaun Parsons is hot right now. Keep feeding him. My nephew is for Goldsmith. He's the one in the blue. That's Randy right there. He got 10, 10 5, and 5. So that's that's pretty decent. Pretty good today.
Uh, yeah, yeah. The way the way they going. That's gonna be. Eh, I don't know. One eighty. So that's what ninety. Mm. The way they keep, the way they keep moving on these shots. You got three minutes left in the third. That's gonna be tight. That's gonna be tight. What's the what's the significance of one eighty, Allen? What's the significance of the one eighty? Is that is that like a betting thing or is just Mara? Mara, where are you where are you um where are you from? Where are you watching from, Mara? Nice. Jasper Gibson. I'll look him up. He's playing, he's playing, uh, he's playing football at, at South Dakota State. I'll look him up for sure. Oh, wow. Good shot. Calgary. My family there in Triple Me Box. Triple Me Box X. XX. I'm not sure what that is. Triple Me Box XX. Calgary. I'm assuming that's down in Australia. Forgive my uh, geographic ignorance. Zaw Mayo Ong. Zaw, where you from, dude? Kino Guillermo. Kino, where you from? We get a little bit of international love. I guess everybody just waking up. Royce Gibson. I do remember that name. Royce Gibson played for the Giants. Gotcha. Ah, oh, you should have popped that nephew up. Oh, nice with the euro. Ooh, nice with the underneath nephew. I see you. I see you. Gotcha, gotcha. That's right. You're right. You're right, Alan. You're right. My bad. Let's see, 68, 64. You got a minute 35 left in the third. So let's see if we can, if Goldsmiths can expand this lead. They've been keeping it tight, man. It hasn't been, uh, other than Joe DeLuke jumping out to a 10-point lead early. And uh, Goldfields has battled back. Got to make the free runs, bro. I think my guy Toddy may have bowed out. Toddy, you still you still on the stream? My guy from Thailand. Uh, take top of the key. Ooh, nice move, nice finish, nice finish. 
Nice finish. All right. Got a five point lead. Let's see what we can do. Now I see you, Cody. It was a guy uh named Toddy. T O T T I from, from Thailand. Great block. Oh, you I thought you was gonna finish with that three. What the Lord have mercy. Nobody wants to shoot the three. Ah, you wasted that momentum. Ah, oh, great block, man. Y'all wasted that momentum. That gone it. Oh, that's a travel. That's like the third or fourth travel this game. All right, let's 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 uh make this a seven point lead going into the um fourth. All right, nephew, you're gonna take the last shot. Why is the clock not started? There you go. Is that a different rule? Does the clock start when they pass the uh, half court? That's the second time I've seen that. Or, or maybe it's just a delay or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it don't matter what country you play ball in, everybody's gonna argue with the refs. <laughs> Everybody go politic and plead their case with the refs. Come on, Randy, make the free ones, man. There you go. Okay, six point lead. Yeah, their clock is all messed up. Or what they putting out on the on the broadcast is all jacked up. Maybe just somebody's doing that manually and it's not synced up to what they're doing at the scoreboard. I'm I'm noticing that. Got to make the free ones, dude. Got to make the free ones. Uh, all right, we're going into the fourth. Uh, Alan, I'm not sure. I honestly, I do not know what city he's living in right now. I know, um, I, I tried to look it up on Google Maps, um, because I'm trying to get him, I got to find him also downtime, so I'm trying to get him on my podcast so I can talk with him. But as far as how they living down there, they usually treat like when he was in Indonesia, like they he was one of the I believe he was the leading scorer when he was with um Bumi Borneo. So they treated him like a superstar. I talked to his parents all the time and they were like, you know, he was the man down there. Everybody knew him. Um, and it's one of those situations where um you really ain't gotta spend money for anything, everything is taken care of. They, they take you everywhere. You don't have to drive or anything like that. So it's just a different lifestyle down there. Uh, not quite sure how things are in Australia. I would imagine they're pretty decent. 
But uh, I'm gonna get a chance to talk to him. I'm gonna try to get him on here one of these one of these times. But another steal, another steal by Goldsmiths. Ah, take your time. All right, come on, Randy, Let's extend this lead. Give it up. Give it up. Don't turn it over. Give it up. He had him sitting right at the top, top of the arc. Ah, no box out. Well, they love that Euro step, man. <laughs> they love that Euro step, boy. The pass. Foul on the floor. I didn't. Let's see. All right, let's go, let's go. Can you guys hear the uh, audio from the game good enough? Yeah, the, the what's going on with the shot clock? Or the game clock, I should say. Is it is the game clock stuck? Good defense. Ah, uh, that looked like good defense to me. Yo, they got to get this clock thing situated. There we go, 745. All right, I, I guess I'm going to start watching the clock that's on the court because this overlay, this lower third right here, is not getting it done. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, they did start it again. They had 739, and we still – yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Hmm. The Ginobili. <laughs> uh, you are not wrong, my friend. You are definitely not wrong. You can't hear it on the audio? Is that any better? And And their audio is not very loud either. It's not like what we're used to as broadcast level. So, like, I'm going to have to listen to this restream to see, like, am I, com am I coming in loud and clear and overshadowing the, the broadcast? Because their audio is not great. And I got my audio, I got my computer audio set to 67 out of 100. So, normally, I'm at 50. Yeah, it's a little different when you pipe it in the desktop audio. So, all right, we still got a five point lead. Look like we got somebody else on the Facebook um, from Thailand. I appreciate you. If you are from Thailand or like Vietnam or someplace like that on Facebook, put your put your American name in because I can't 
I'm not trying to make it sound like disrespectful, but I cannot read your kanji. So, like, leave a nickname or something so I can call you out and shout you out. Benjamin, I do think Goldfields is going to pull this one out. Yes, I do think Goldfield will win. Good block. All right, keep keep increasing this lead, man. Let's go, Randy. Yeah, I'm just noticing that my nephew was wearing pink shoes. Oh my god, what was that? Me shooting no air balls. Knew it. Come on, man. Damn, that was a five-point swing right there. Now it's a one-possession game, dude. Bad shot. Yeah, Alan, some people want to hear it, though. Yeah, Alan, I am not a basketball fan. I stopped playing basketball my sophomore year in high school and just concentrated on football and baseball, so. Um, basketball, every time we go out and play basketball, it would either end in one or two things. Somebody would turn their ankle or it was a fight. So I stopped playing basketball very, very young. I was a baseball kid growing up and then I was a late bloomer in football, but my football career took off, broke a lot of records in college, uh, in my college hall of fame and all that kind of stuff up until when I was with the Eagles and NFL Europe with Scotland. And a little stint in the CFL in Canadian. All right, we got six and a half minutes left. Let's go, Goldsmiths. Goldfields. I keep calling them Goldsmith. Goldfields. Goldfields Giants. Goldfields. Take him, take him, take him. Ah, turning the ball over, man. Come on. Don't get sloppy. There you go. Good dunk. Tied the game up. Come on, fellas. That air ball hurt. <laughs> that air ball hurt him. Come on, Randy. Oh, spin on him, Randy. Okay, with the step back. Nope. Y'all got to take it to the hole, get to the line. Ugh. Man, get a rebound. There you go. Randy looking to pop it, pop the three up. Three seconds. Oh, come on. Uh, Alan, I went to Eastern Kentucky. Stay on your feet. Come on. Oof. All right, come on. Still one possession. Let's go. Let's go.
Uh, come on, man. These missed. Uh. Foul on the floor. Are they in the penalty? Are they on the line? Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Not on the line. All right. Uh, yeah. Goldsmith ain't looking much better either. Ooh. I was. I ain't gonna lie. That was pretty. That was pretty. Four points down now. That was a huge swing right there, man. Y'all got to start driving, get into the hole. Your, your three-point shots ain't falling. Come on, you still got time. You got, uh, it is 3.55 on the game clock. Don't, don't pay attention to the, what's on the overlay, the lower third there. It is 3.55, not 4.02. Yeah, back in the 90s, man. I was there from like 89 to 93. So uh, I graduated in 93 uh, and then before I signed with the Eagles. So, yeah, we were we were always in the playoffs. We were we were good back then. Always won our conference championships. Uh, we made it to the final four one year. I think we, we ended up losing to Marshall. So, yeah, we had a pretty good team. Coach Roy Kidd was our coach. He just passed away not too long ago. Um, yeah, we had, we were one of the powerhouses of one double a almost beat Louisville at Louisville one year. Almost don't count. Good shot. Needed that. Needed that shot. Good shot, nephew. Come on. D these guys up, man. D these guys up. They can't hit a shot with somebody in their face. Mmm, and a ticky tack. Man, here's the thing with these rats with calling stuff, man. I, if you're gonna call it tight, or if you're gonna let them play, doesn't matter to me. Whatever you do, just be consistent. You can't be loose at one point and then call every ticky tack foul when you got less than five minutes to go in the game. If you if you was calling it super tight, call it super tight the whole game. If you calling it loose and letting them play. Keep it loose and let them play the whole game. Don't change up at the end. All right, it's only a five-point lead, man. You got, you got time to do it. You got time to make it happen. Don't get lazy. Nice. You needed that. You needed that three. Or and one. Make the free throw and this the three. It's all right. Make it a one possession game. I uh, got some more people joining in on Facebook. If you are on Facebook and you, if you can join me on YouTube, I'd appreciate it. We got uh, Rashid, Rashid Ocean, Ochin, and Rodolfo Joshua. All right, one possession game, two point game. Let's go. Deshaun Parsons is lighting it up today. He's a player of the game for Goldsmith easily. The dude's hot, man. Dude is hot. Caleb Davis. Somebody better get in his face. 63% from three point. Come on with the turnovers, man.
damage. Two minutes. Picks it up. Gets the rebound. Almost gets it in off. Randy going to try to pop it. Big time. Big time shot, nephew. Big time shot right there. DM up. Let's play some defense. Oh, come on, man. Get your positioning, man. Good rebound by that dude, though, to kick it all the way back out. Stop leaving them open. Somebody got to get out there and guard them, man. Y'all getting it close, and then they take it right back out. Come on, let's D him up. Let's D him up. Turnage, man. He is shooting 80%. He's shooting 80%. Yeah, Alan, that was uh that was a rough one right there. Uh Rodolfo Joshua, I think I just said your name on Facebook. If you guys are on Facebook, join me on YouTube, please. All right, you got two minutes left. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what they can do. Y'all know who the who the hot players are for June Duluth. So don't let them guys get open shots outside the arc. They they are hitting their shot. Caleb, uh, what's his name? Caleb Turnage. And uh who's that other guy? Number five right there walking on the court. They've been killing him for three point. The dude is 60% from three. Oh, good. Good, glad you can hear it. Come on, make good move, Randy. Ah, finish that, finish that. Stop worrying about the files, nephew. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Ooh, very off topic, but uh, the guy at the bottom of the field, I'm digging that camera he's using. Uh, come on, Deshaun Parsons. Make the free ones. Ah. Had a chance for a four-point play. Uh-oh, what's going on? They got a power play. No. Yeah, 127 left on the on the clock. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Uh, you down by four. Let's let's D him up. Let's D him up. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's D him up. Let's D him up. Let's get force the turnover, get the ball back. Force the turnover, get the but don't. Good D, good. Wow. You smell OT? Not if they can't hit shots. 
Why you pick up your dribble? Ah. Yeah. Up. Uh, Up. Uh, no foul? Okay. Okay. Fifty-four seconds left. Four-point lead. They're gonna have to foul now. You need the ball back. Forty seconds. Off. Are you serious? You got a foul from the three-point. Ugh. Come on, man. Still 36 seconds left. Uh, you got a lot, still got time to do some things. And they can't hit free throws. So uh, the game's not over. Uh, it's still technically a one possession game. So this will make it a two if he makes his free throw. So, yeah. So now you got a two possession game. So you, you have to hit a three and you have to make a stop. So. John Romeggio, Duyan, all comeback games. Yeah, I mean, it could, John. We'll have to see. 30 seconds, that's a lot of time on the clock, but you have to make shots. Got to set it up for a good shot, and, and you got to sink it. At the very least, you got to get to the line. At the very least. And then they're going to have to foul. To stop the clock, so you remember how we used to do that in high school uh, when there was a timeout or halftime in high school. Like if you had an older brother or, or an older sister, somebody playing in high school, and then at halftime, all the little kids would run and play pickup on the courts, <laughs> just like these kids. Or you run out. And you ask the uh, assistant coaches, can you could you mop the floor? So you run out with the big wide mops, dust mops. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alan. Nine points in 33 seconds. <laughs> Thunder Gaming, you are correct. But let's see what's going to happen, man. Can somebody pull a, uh, can somebody pull a uh, Reggie Miller? Nine points in 13 seconds. Is that what that was? Was that 33 seconds? I thought it was like 13 seconds, but I get I get the, the reference. All right, we got to make the shots. We got to make get the ball in back. Lord have mercy. Turn the ball over. Randy, just pop it. That's a weak call. That's a weak call. Ah, that's an ugly call at that time, man. Very ugly call. Ugh. All right, one seventy four. Yeah, you might not make it. <laughs> Let's see. It's it's close. Yeah, that was yeah. That was I don't think that was a dumb play. I just thought that wasn't a charge. That dude. Ugh, come on, man. Oh, that sucks. That one sucks.
Damn it. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, nephew. I'd have slammed the ball, too, on that one. And his feet was moving. Did they take Randy out of the game? I think they did. He, I know he was hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, Allen, man. It was, yeah. Yeah. Still, man, it's been the longest 30 something seconds. <laughs> Mara, if you're still on Facebook, I'm just understanding what you were saying because I'm looking at that sign behind the net, the Cal Gorley uh, Overland Motel. So I'm guessing the um, that's the local area. Flop City. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And Bus is, I mean, not for nothing, his feet was moving. So, um, they needed three. They needed three as quick as possible, and they need to stop. Wow. That's a wrap. 12 seconds left. I don't know what the deal is with their clocks. You got 12.2 seconds left. 12.6. Hmm. Yeah, this one's gonna suck. They need what? What they need for that one eighty for uh four more points. Two more points. Nah. Nah. You gonna be you gonna be what two points short of it? <laughs> two points short of one eighty. Yeah, they're gonna run that clock out. Two points short of one eighty, man. That's funny. Ugh. Yeah, that get ugly at the end. Damn it. They didn't make the shots when they had to make them, man. Yeah, 29 to 13 in the fourth quarter. I'm with you, John. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, all right. What is this? Uh, somebody explain this to me. What is? What are they doing? They saying they like good game to everybody. That's an Australian thing. I might have to ask my nephew about that next time I talk with him. Yeah, on the home court. That's the way it goes. Win some, you lose some. The Junes. That's the nickname. The Junes. Kev. All right, I can dig with that. All right, before I get out of here, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm trying to follow his schedule, so anytime they are playing, if it is at a reasonable time, I will try to stream. Now, the other day, they played at 2, 2 p.m., which was 2 a.m. here in the States where I am, So, uh, but I did it. So uh, when they get the night games like this, 7, 8, you know, anytime that they are – 
like at a decent time i'm gonna try to stream it so i'm trying to get more people uh they got some more games man got some more games it'll be all right but uh but yeah thanks for everybody for joining me make sure you subscribe click on that notification bell i will be back uh please check my twitter and my facebook page my facebook page is called pro fan talk um my twitter feed is coach marcus coach underscore marcus it's right there in the text crawl on the bottom coach underscore marcus 06 you can hit me up on twitter if you were in the chat man hit me up uh send me a message on twitter i'll go back and forth with you man so trying to make this thing grow tell you tell your friends to come join me next time check out the nfl uh content check out the WNBA content nba content i'm doing it all man so check me out subscribe tell your friends about me all right and i will catch you guys in the next one i definitely appreciate you guys for joining in the chat was lit i love just talking ball with people and talking sports had a lot of fun um and i appreciate everybody that joined in alan uh i appreciate you bro hope to hope this ain't the last time i'll see you cody k as usual bro john john you came in late man but don't be a stranger buddy make sure you uh subscribe kev 12 make sure you subscribe um thunder gaming appreciate you everybody that joined in man we had a good time everybody that was on the facebook's rashid radufo mara toddy uh my guy that that chimed in from thailand uh everybody that came in i'm digging this international flavor man and we gonna keep this thing going i am grinding and growing let's keep it moving see you guys later have a great weekend see you on the next one peace